what's going on guys welcome back to another video and uh, this is going to be a quick one it's a, a public service announcement if you will i've been playing around with once human and i haven't been very happy with its performance as you can see the frame time graph looks awful we keep getting these stutters that even though we're getting 150 fps or whatever it's just stuttering which leads to horrible 1% lows of 23 FPS. And if you look at the CPU utilization, it's crazy high. My CPU is running at 90%. And I'm using some of the best hardware you can currently buy. RTX 4090, Ryzen 7800X3D. Well, I have found a fix that works for me and should work for pretty much anybody, right? And it's, it's something that I've used in other games that's helped, but it definitely helps here. And I will show you what it is. For the sake of transparency, I'll show you my settings. I'm playing on a 3440 by 1440 ultra wide display and I've maxed out the graphical settings. And a fix that worked really well for me was to use a frame rate cap. So I tried 60 FPS and look at this guys. It's perfectly smooth. We have 60 FPS and 60 FPS for 1% lows. That's incredible. And on top of that, we're saving power too. So even though we was getting 150 FPS previously, we were stuttering so bad that it felt extremely unpleasant that just having a consistent 60 FPS feels great. It feels actually really good and nice to play. Now, for those of you who may not know, setting a frame rate cap uh, can be done in many ways. You can use the NVIDIA control panel or the NVIDIA app, or you can use the AMD software, Relive. You can set a frame rate cap that way. But what I use is Rivatuna Statistics Server, which comes packaged with MSI Afterburner. You can easily change it to whatever you want. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's try 90 FPS. Okay, so 90 FPS seems to work really well. We have a very consistent frame time. There are tiny little hitches, but they're unnoticeable practically. If you look at our 1% lows, they're in the mid 80s, guys. This is perfect. The game feels even better to play than at 60 FPS. And I think what's happening here is that if you run in a game CPU bound, you risk the chance of stutters in many games because the CPU is running maxed out. So your results may vary depending on the type of hardware you have, the resolutions that you play, what type of headroom you have, but I do genuinely believe that using a frame rate cap will help you if you are having issues, which I've personally had issues even on my other hardware with this game and stuttering. But anyway, before I wrap up the video, let's try 120 FPS cap as well. And with 120 FPS cap, we are getting a very consistent experience as well. Our 1% lows are in the mid 80s to 90 FPS with 120 FPS average. That is very, very smooth. Night and day difference between this and leaving the frame rate on cap. So I would recommend capping the frame rate. Let me know in the comments if this helped you. Again, it will depend on the type of hardware you have and the type of headroom you have, but it doesn't hurt to try. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I do hope it helps you out and enjoy the game.